We slept in up a good bit. We probably slept in. It's uh, it's 9:37 right now. We probably slept there at least late in the bed till 9 o'clock, huh? So last night when we went to take a shower, this is a really nice truck stop, by the way. Um, turn that off so it's not clicking. Uh, we get done with our shower and we're getting dressed and we hear somebody beating on the door. And I'm like, yeah. And a woman's voice goes, what are you doing, using the bathroom or something? I was like, no, we're getting dressed. And she goes, so you took a shower? And I said, yeah. And she goes, did you pay for the shower? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, no, you didn't. You stole the shower. I got the key right here in my pocket. I'm like, what is she talking about? I was like, what the f are you talking about? You stole the shower. It's like, let me get dressed. I'll come out and deal with you. It was it was an employee that, um, I guess, cleans the showers, accusing of, us of stealing the shower. So I went up to the front desk and I was like, I was just accused by one of your employees of stealing the shower. And I think um, they keep an extra key, obviously. They want you to leave your key and your towels in the bathroom. And they keep an extra key to the room. They want you to keep your keys and your towel in the room and keep the door open when you're done with the shower. I think they keep the extra key just in case you close the door. And I don't know if she's new or just slow. I'm sure she's slow. I don't think she was all there or something. But it's like, holy shit, man. I, I find them, man. Or they find me. It's crazy. So, I don't know if I chose you guys this or not, but we went and got a um, $20 Keurig. You got it going? Yeah. 20 bucks for that Keurig. What's nice about it is it can just make you one cup at a time. Man, this smells amazing too. Oh, Fat Butts is eating. Don't be nervous, you can eat. No, she's gonna stop. Eat your food. Eat your food, you weirdo. Just eat your food. Uh, she's yawning an awful lot. You're not allowed to yawn. You sleep all day. All right. So she's going to make us some coffee. I've already done pre-trip. Um, I just uh, put out the video where I had to pull this truck out with F-250. And I was explaining, I think the video before, that I bought all new lights for the back. And I was going to replace all the lights. I didn't replace all the lights. I only replaced the three that weren't working. Now we have another one that's that's trying to go out on us. So I wish I'd have went ahead and replaced all the lights since I had it. Well, my thought was I'll just bring the lights with me, and if one goes out, I'll just swap it out. Well, guess who forgot the lights, the extra lights at home? Not me. <laughs> I wasn't. Oh, yeah, you weren't there, were you? Yeah. Dang it. It was Fat Butt's fault then. Yeah. Oh, anyways. Oh, that's how we fixed Lita's door handle. I stuck a, <laughs> stuck a vice grip on it. Yeah. yeah this truck was get before we well, I think it works better than before. <laughs> See, it's got this little bolt in it. And I knew it was messed up. I'm like, man, I, gotta, I have to take that bolt out of mine to match it up for that one. And I just never did. So, I don't know. This is a big truck stop, though. Yeah. There's a uh, car wash right now, or a truck wash. Thought about getting the truck wash, but the line goes all the way around. And there was a dude in line last night that I'm like, that truck's already spotless. It was like a bright lime green. Yeah. Man, some of you guys take good care of your trucks. I mean, I, I take care of mine. I just... I'm not really about the big flashy stuff, you know? Especially in the snow, dude. There's so much salt on the ground right now. I've failed at washing this windshield so many times. It's hard to wash this windshield. You, 
either the the handles are too or, or too short or I'm too short or the, the split makes it even harder because your sponge hits that and you can't really get the squeegee up against that really good man that's disgusting I need to get it washed that's one of the complaints about this truck I mean it's good if you get a rock chip you only have to replace half the windshield it's a pain in the butt to wash so I don't know I do a, need to do like a breakdown when we're done for this week of um, what we've learned goods and the bads stuff like that what do you think yeah we have time yeah we'll have time all the trailers getting worked on so all right guys You lock that door, Babs? We made it to Frankfurt, Kentucky. We are in a Lowe's slash Petco parking lot that has lots of options around us. Ooh, it's chilly out here. Um, I kind of wanted to move over a little bit with this truck and trailer. Uh, I think it'll be okay for now. Um, that way when we go to leave we have more of a straight shot to this exit maybe what i'll do i wish all that snow wasn't there we could just park over there i don't want to screw this truck and i hate to stick over too far that way oh i don't know i don't think we can move really from where we are i don't know i mean this might be all right as long as we leave like early enough where there ain't like cars parked along here <clears throat> so frankfurt kentucky how we have missed Frankfurt, Kentucky. Have you missed Frankfurt, Kentucky? No. I've never been here. So I'm going to walk over and get something to cook tonight. And there was something else we had to pick up. Uh, where are you walking to? That way. I don't think you can cross over that way. 
Why? Because of the snow. No, we can cross over that way. All right. We're either going to go out to eat or we're going to cook something good to eat. Maybe some steaks, some lobsters, some shrimp on the barbie. Yeah, maybe. Maybe? All right. We'll get back. We'll, 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 we'll get back to you. It's uh, Sunday about 4.30. And uh, I'm on the top bunk still. We've got... Uh, we've got... Oh my gosh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see in here. we got our George Foreman set up over here. Lead and fat butts are down underneath. It's dark under there. Turn that light on above you so we can see that fat butts. Oh, there she is. Let's see, you got some potatoes in the bag. Yeah. We're waiting for what, like 5.30ish to start cooking these steaks? Well, I don't know if I need to go get... Oh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. What? Yeah, I don't know. Probably need to. Maybe. And, uh, oh, we got the steaks defrosting on the dash. And I'm just editing a video. Well, it's Monday morning at about 6.50. The place don't open till 8. Ooh, I didn't sleep very good last night. Lita's making some coffee down there. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I just couldn't fall asleep. I wasn't tired. I should have took some gummies, but it was too late. By the time I realized I was having trouble sleeping. Oh. All right. Everybody ready? Yeah. Did you have a good 34 fat butts? Yeah, you ready to go home? Let's go drop this off and go home. Well, we have arrived. Lita ran up there to see where we're supposed to uh, pull into because we're way down there on the end of the building. Hopefully they just unload us out here. So you have to go in this parking lot and park by the gate. So I can get in there? I guess, dude. See what happens. Wonder how I get out. I don't, Is there a turnaround back there? I don't know. I, I didn't ask them. There's a gay back there. So we just pull up to the gate and stop? Yeah. I might be backing out of here. Maybe. I don't know if it goes around or not. I don't even know if that's their shit over there. That's they just said pull up to the gate and stop? Yeah. So make sure that you can get a 
I Yeah, I don't think I can turn around back there. Well, we might we might be backing out of here. But I don't think there's any way for me to turn around back here. Yeah, I mean you probably could, but I don't like twisting my my axles around like that. So I'll just back it back out to that cul-de-sac and then turn around in that roundabout. All right, let's get this on tarps. <laughs> 